Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lombard Talk on Toe video. Oh my goodness. So before I get started, a lot of people over the years have asked me, Code, how did you do your uh, intro? Okay, just so you know, I'm really good with Blender, uh, but I went over a tutorial that um, basically shows you how to do this. So uh, let's see here. I'm just going to cut <laughs> no, no fade on that scene. Let's head up to youtube.com and watch this. It's going to be um, intro. Uh, no, it's it's going to be chop, chop text from wood blender 3D. Chop text from wood blender 3D right there. Uh, in in fact, this is from Tutor for you. One one. Let's start by creating a new project. There he is. So from the file menu, select new. So it's a it's in an older version of Blender, but you can absolutely do it yourself. Now I did extra stuff like um, the sounds and the the ding and the the extra like video editing plus the fades and stuff like that. And I also have my board slide in from the the left, so it looks like somebody throws the piece of wood into the scene and then it chops. So if you've ever wanted to make your own code primate intro with your own text and your own things and stuff like that, go for it. Here's the tutorial. Uh, I should leave the link in the description down below, but I, sh I showed you how to get to it. Uh, it's got over 1 million views. Let's get him up to 2 million. So yeah, that's uh, that's how to do the code primate intro. Fadey fade, a little, little artistic fade right there. And we'll just jump back into it. Um, as you guys saw yesterday, the orange, uh, the the bleh, the water bridge is done, done ski. So, um, we don't have to climb up to the top anymore. Oh my gosh! I can't inject this game. Good. Stop cheating. <laughs> Move B and down ski. Boom, done, like that, check it out. That's awesome. So let's head into the um, the base itself. <sighs> Param says to look up, I did. I'm looking up. You look up or me me up, or him up? Yeah, if you're talking about my, uh, my tower, it's, a, it's huge. You'd be amazed at where it goes too. Um, I need to make a long plank and I don't want to use any of this wood so let's go let's go okay so let's do this let's pretend like I am just like I've got no wood on my base oh no there's no wood on my base whatsoever I need to go and make a long plank so what I will do is I will jump in here oh goodness I've got that in the wrong slot there we go I always keep my, my main axe in slot one. One. Oh gosh, I cannot see. Can you guys see? It's so dark. One, one more chop and we can see. There we go. It was the shadows. The shadow just knows. Man, the shadow was an old movie. That was from like 1995, I think. Oh my goodness, God, you're showing your age. Oh, by the way, for all of you in my comment section who keep calling me a boomer, I am not a boomer. <laughs> uh, and for those of you who keep thinking that millennials are um, people of younger ages, congratulations. I was born in 1981, which puts me into the category of a millennial. And I was born uh, after... Let's see, in between the times of like 70-something 70, 70 to 84, you're considered a Generation X. So, I am a Millennial Generation X. Okay, so I got two. <laughs> but I'm not a boomer. Okay? So, Gen Y, stop it. Don't know what you're talking about. New Age Millennials, stop it. You don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Okay, I gotta change the dynamic of this, don't I? Um, so this is what the cross section of the the long plank is going to be. Let's go all the way down and let's make this oh, let's make this fairly wide. Let's go with two. 
Okay, I got I got a big lug here. Two should, you know what? We'll go with two point five or two two point four. Two point four, big lug. Let's see if this works. Go on in there. Go on now. You go on get. There it goes. Now how am I gonna get that up there? I guess I could long plank to it. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so funny. I'm I'm funny. <laughs> so funny. Uh, by the way, for those of you who didn't catch the couple lot of things that are going on right now, I am a family friendly channel. I am not a kid intended channel. If you happen to be a kid under the age of 13, technically you're not supposed to have a YouTube account in the first place because you have to be 13 years of age or over. So you should have been in the first place getting a, a 13 or over and applying with the end user license agreement, which has nothing to do with me. That is your end user license agreement. Same thing goes for Discord. If you're under the age of 13, you are not supposed to have your own Discord channel and you're not supposed to have your own Discord account. But if you happen to have it, then it's, guess what? Not my problem because you're the one that did it, not me. Oh my gosh, I actually long plinked to it. <laughs> oh, so. Uh, what I find ironic is it was YouTube's mistake and YouTube's the one that, that was collecting the data. It wasn't the content creators, but now the content creators are gonna be held responsible for some, something YouTube did. And somebody in the my comment section, they said it best, I can't remember who it was, but it's like, it's like, the school caught someone beating up somebody else and bullying them and now you're getting in trouble just because somebody else told the principal you know and not that you had anything to do with it but you were caught in in the mix because of it uh is that a beard uh, is he talking about the the thing yeah that's totally a beard over at the what are us I think somebody the other day said to um, try and long plank into the cave. Well, I did a YouTube video on how to get yellow wood by long planking, but that takes a long time and it's really hard to do. So, I mean, if you want to, you can go and watch that video right after this one. Just mark it. Just uh, open up a new tab, go to YouTube and search Code Primate Long Plank uh, Yellow Wood. You'll find it. <clears throat> Yellow wood, yellow tree, something like that. I don't remember all of my tags that I throw in there, but um, some of them are good ones. Just saying, especially on the times that I get angry, I, I make some amazing tags. All right, down we go. Whoa! Oh gosh! Don't drop it! Don't drop it! Man. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna lay this down like that. Boop. Jump. <laughs> wow, Code, you probably did not need that big of a long plank. In fact, that's like, that is double the length of what you need, Code. Okay. Okay, let's come over here. Um, right about... I would say here is center. So let's uh, just do a little choppy chop right there. That looks good. Okay. And we are going to do this. Whee! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Made it mad. Whee! No, I still missed. What in the world? What the heck? Oh, there we go. There it is. I guess I could just go like that. There. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> By the way, Creek Craft, you are hilarious. I watched his uh, his video about the Copa Law. He said, I'm not a preschooler. We're not gonna. Hey, kiddos, go grab your crowns and we're gonna learn some Roblox math today. Yay! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. But huge, huge shout out to Creekcraft for um, basically standing up and having all of our 
YouTube, cha YouTube channel is placed on his shoulders because he is going to actually, and this, this is crazy, he is going to make a trip out to Washington, D.C. to talk to the guys that make the law about COPA. That's huge. That is a huge task undertaking. Thank you, Creek, for doing it, because, I mean... <sighs> I I would have, but, you know, if, this, if it weren't for this darn pinky hangnail that I've got going on, I don't know. There's... Uh, I don't know that I would ever make a trip for something like that. Not that it's not important. It's just, you know, I'm married with kids and, and jobs and everything else. Like, YouTube is not my main form of income. It is not my main job. I don't do this for a living. I do YouTube for fun. I do YouTube because I saw a need. I didn't want my kids watching some random... Uh, YouTube channel where they were cursing, cussing, and everything else, and that's a problem for me because it doesn't fit my family dynamic. Um, it could fit your family dynamic, don't know, but original intent for my channel, very selfish reasons. I wanted to advertise on on Second Life, and you know what? That was back in 2007. Didn't really do anything with the channel. I wasn't a YouTuber. I did not pursue the ability to entertain. It was simply to do. And so then, when I started getting older and, and I started watching YouTube myself and then I realized that my kids were starting to watch YouTube and they were coming across YouTubers who would just be like, cut, 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 just a whole bunch of different edits and cuts and scenes. It just it turned into something else and I couldn't stand... What am I doing? Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. There we go. It turned into me just hating listening to it in the background. Even my wife was like, Oh my God, are they listening to that the naughty words again? So, I had discovered Roblox at the time, and, and I had my own hypnosis going on, you know, for my own entertainment and having fun. And I thought, you know what? I could do better. I could provide something that my kids could go and watch... And then they could be like, oh my gosh, my dad does this. My dad can do the gameplays. And I did. And all of a sudden, everybody else started watching too. And the channel blew up. And it was like, oh my gosh, a lot of people want to come to watch this. Not just kids. I had parents giving me comments. I had grandparents saying, hey, my daughter comes over on the weekends. And we love sitting down and watching your Lumber Tycoon 2 gameplays. So if you are a grandparent who's got a grandkid who's sitting there watching, or if you're a parent who's had um, tutorials and entertainment because of my channel and you've been able to play with your kids and connect more as a family, not just kids, if a husband and a wife get closer in their relationship because they were able to watch something that I said on my channel, that is an amazing feat. That is more than I could ever ask for. Now, I don't expect that, um, you know, great grandpa or Harley biker dude who is um, not married, single lifestyle, hitting the road, hardcore. I don't know that you're going to come and watch my, my channel. If you do, awesome. I am glad that you're here. And you know what? I, I really love that you heard my messages and I love that you've been here as part of this community it's just I don't want to be labeled as kid content I mean that's what it comes down to because I want to go play Grand Theft Auto I like Grand Theft Auto in fact I was really good at Vice City whenever it was f brand new and fresh I mean I was young when I started playing it I was a teenager whenever I played GTA, the original Grand Theft Auto, for PC, you know? It was the top-down view, like this, and all you could see was, like, the head and the shoulders, and it was it, it was totally non-dynamic, so you'd, you'd, like, get into the car, and all the guns were, like, from top-down views, stuff like that. It was just... It was fun. <clears throat> What would you guys think to um, emulator gameplays? 
like going back and playing some old school PlayStation things. What was I doing? Oh, I had I had a long plank. <sighs> Completely got off track. Code. Hold on. Label out. Code primate. Don't forget Twitter, YouTube, Mixer, everything. <laughs> oh, I need a car. I need a car, need a car, need a car. Boink. Or a truck. Ooh, it's a red one. Yeah, he took the red one. <gasps> no, not the red one. Not the beautiful maroon one. By the way, I somebody said that uh, the logarithms are going to go off the voice. So if I have a, a higher voice, it's going to be tagged by the, uh, the bot a lot quicker. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh gosh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. Oh, I know what I can do to make this transition much less painful. There we go. And go, 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 go. What in the world was that code? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh. Nicely done, Code. Oh my gosh, Code, you're so amazing. How did you do that? <laughs> Skills. Boom. Now, what I wanted to try tonight is um, the yellow bridge is done. It is amazing. I love it so much. Let's try a whole tree. Let's not try to, to chop it all down and stuff. Let's put a whole tree in the back. See if we can't wedge it in there just right and get it going. So, um, let's see. I need to L... Oh no, should I turn on some dynamics of some kind? Uh, turn the graphics down some, maybe? That is so weird looking. It looks like just sideways doors. Do you see that? With the, the way the perception is right there? <laughs> That's so cool! Uh. Hello over there on the bridge. Do you see me? You know, I don't know that anybody can get to the bridge if I blacklist them, because it's it's technically off the bridge. Oh, <gasps> you know what I could do? No, I don't know how high up it is. It might not be high enough to get over the wall. So, if you go up above somebody's base so far, you can actually go over the blacklist wall. The you, Whenever you get blacklisted, there's a wall that's in place. I wonder if I could build a swivel so when I turned on the bridge, it would go above that mark and have like a bridge up and over the top. So like, if you're blacklisted from my base, you would still see a bridge like staircase that you could go up and it would go over the top of that blacklist wall and to the destination that you're wanting to get to. So I can make uh, public public doors. That's a lot of work. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Anyhow, it's it's an idea. I mean, hey, if you got time and you wanted to make a public access bridge of some kind, send me send me your pictures. Let me see what you've come up with. Because that sounds amazing. I'm so glad I thought of it. Code, you're so amazing. Good job. I'm just going to try and go straight through. I don't know that it's going to work. Who knows? Oh! It didn't work. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And I lost a Manny Axe. That's a very bad axe to lose, Code. Uh, in fact, don't do that again. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're just, we're, I'm just going to set that down there. And we're going to grab a Twitter axe. Twitter axes I can still get. And they're not quite the uh, expensive things that I, I thought. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, if you have not seen that video, go check it out. <laughs> Hold on. I want to move this over a little bit. Because I don't want it facing this direction anymore. Come on, let's move you. Let's actually set you right, right here. Glorious. What a glorious day. 
Come on. E. There you go. Yay! It's a good one. Ooh. Hello, Sam. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm kind of sounding like, um, like Tom, aren't I? Oh. Okay, there's a tree there. Let's just, uh, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Ooh, nicely done. Three, four. Okay, we definitely want full health before taking off and trying that again. Close that. Close. Oh, close that. Um. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 oh, definitely. Whoever said uh, the trucks need all-wheel drive, I absolutely agree with you on that. 100%. Oh. You know what might be a good idea? Is if we, let's take one of these boards and set it off to the side. And that will be our emergency board, just in case. So in the event that uh, an emergency happens and we need to get over the bridge, getting over it, oh gosh, which by the way is a horrible game. I saw uh, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye playing that, getting over it, and it's where you're like this half body that's inside a can or inside a cauldron, and you have to try and climb this mountain. Is that right up against the edge? Oh, that's nice and straight. Good, good deal. Good deal. All right, our life is full. My lights are on. Here we go. Let's do this. Two, three, four. Now just wait for it, code. Just wait for it. You don't have to. You don't have to go rushing off right now. I guess if I timed it, I could right-click and hold on my my title bar in between the, the hertz. <clears throat> Cause it, it's a it's a local strip. It's, it's a local script. Um, the script that causes you pain uh, or damage inside the water and inside the volcano. It is actually caused by local scripts on your client, not by the server itself. So it is avoidable damage if you're an ex or exploiter. I didn't say that. Mm. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, Code, how do you not take so much damage inside the, the volcano? It's actually not me. It's the lag of the server causing the scripts to lag. Or causing the triggers to lag. So. There's my axe. I don't know that I'm going to be picking that up either. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I? Hold on, hold on. On. Can I get below the water? I can. Okay. I don't see it out there anywhere. Hmm. I'm gonna try and go save my axe. We're just gonna go forward, then backwards right here. Alright, here we go. Ready? Go forward. Get under the water. Get under the water. Get under the water. Go backwards, go backwards, go backwards. Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on. No. 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 <laughs> oh, that is frustrating. Oh, that hurt. That hurt so bad. Now I've lost the Twitter axe and... Oh, no. <laughs> Code, why? Why do you do this to yourself? Oh. Such a pain. Is that an axe? Did somebody... What in the world? 
By the way, I think somebody's been trying to like push stuff off of my base. I don't know if it's been happening in this episode, but you know what? Let's do that. Let's secure our base real quick. It's always a good idea to secure your bases. Might want to make sure that they're going the right way first. Turn. Alright, so we're going to block off the back way. Done. And we should probably build up all the walls. I'll, I'll do that after I go and retrieve these two axes. If I can get the axes. That's a that's horrible code. Horrible thing to do. <laughs> Alright, open the door. Open the door. And open this door. Oh, 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 no! Who parked their car there? Seriously. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh, uh, poop. Eh. Somebody crashed a car there. <laughs> oh, dear me. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> uh... Let's... Okay, I'm stuck. Um... Oh, I am like super stuck. Hold on. Oh, I'm moving. I'm moving. Not very quickly, though. Oh, gosh. You know what? Reset. Reset. It's fine. Code, you're at 27 minutes, dude. Oh my gosh. Have we really been recording that long? Hmm. Hmm. By the way, today, uh, well, for me, um, Fortnite just got its, uh, its Thursday update, so. Hello, Woodbridge. Do you see me? Dude, I'm totally gonna drive on your base. I hope you don't mind. Bye. <laughs> Open that door. Open that door. Jump off. Yay! Skills. Oh, 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 oh. Lights. Lights. Camera. Action. Somebody lost their, their axe down there. Do you see that? It happens. It happens to the best of us. All right. So close that one. Close that one. Gotta wait for the life now. <clears throat> this is the life. This is the life. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> you messed up. I did? Are you talking to me? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> hey! Did you know how to get yellow wood? The glow fur? Glow fur. In the water. water cave? No. Not the swamp. Although, I wonder if they've ever seen a gold bridge. I tell you how to get gold wood. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but yellow wood is dangerous. Well, um, I made a bridge that you can walk to it. It's near the bridge. I know. <laughs> I 
I'm over there right now. I have a bridge. <laughs> I built it out of doors and can walk over here. Well, don't take your god axe. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bram, <laughs> do you know me? <laughs> oh, but our cars can't go. <laughs> I'm in my car over here now. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Pram0747, if you're watching this right now and, and for some reason I tell you about my channel and you come here, just, oh, this was the best conversation. Thank you so much. That was awesome. <laughs> I just saw somebody down there. Wait. What? Hold up. How you get 15 million? <laughs> Hi. Hi and welcome. Now I just saw Yellowwood down there. Somebody's in the cave. Go back a few seconds in the video and look look down here just before I started ranting about somebody being in the cave. Yellowwood went across there. It was like somebody carrying a piece of Yellowwood. Who are you? <laughs> Google me. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> oh man, goodness me, that was funny. He goes, oh my gosh! <laughs> Friend requests me. <laughs> Oh, hi, dude! What are you doing? Where is your car? Oh, you're exploiting. <laughs> Caught you. <laughs> Then where's your car? My friend leave the server. I st and I stuck. Oh, if that's true, dude, that sucks. Oh. Oh. That's bad. I'm waiting for him to rejoin. Are you the... If I was exploiting... Oh my god! <laughs> I already gone home. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Hi, Pram. <laughs> Where are you? I'm inside the water cave right now. Driving my car that <laughs> you said can't go in the water. To the yellow wood. <laughs> Can you help me get go back? Yes. Uh, do you have an axe on you? The yellow trees give lots of money. No, the yellow trees actually are the least amount in the game. It's one money per one unit. But it's impossible kinda to get to. He said, wait! Never mind.
<laughs> Good? <laughs> he says, yeah. Did you need some yellow wood? Get to the end, dude! Get to the end! Get to the end! <laughs> Welcome, Pram! Hi, buddy! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Welcome aboard! Well, Welcome ashore! <laughs> hi, YouTube! Hello, Pram! Everybody say hi to Pram! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. How did I build this way? Um, I have lots of videos on how I built this. Prime, yes. How much blue wood gives? Um, hold on, let's go find out. Wikia lumber type into. Oh, Wikia, Wikia, you are the famous Wiki Lumber Tycoon 2, Wiki going to the wood. Um, elm wood, cherry wood, birch, lava, walnut. Let's go to more. By the way, the spook wood was amazing this year. Just absolutely amazing. Come on. Go to wood. There we go. Electric wood. Here we go. Uh, log unit is 5.1, 35 per plank. It's 35 money per unit of planked wood. One unit is one by one by one. It's the unit me. Wait. Wait, what? Code is YouTube, right? Right? Yes. Oh no, did he did he just figure out? How to get the end times wood? With an eyeball and an end times axe. <laughs> I have a video about that too. <laughs> here buddy, let's get you in here. Come on. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Get in. Get in. Hi, Anti. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? We can do it backwards, I think. I think I should be able to do this backwards. Not a problem, not a problem. No problem at all. He says, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe. I love your videos! Thank you! I love my fans! <laughs> oh my goodness. We're at 38 minutes, so if you were supposed to be somewhere, just letting you know you're 8 minutes late. <laughs> You're the best. Um, I'm actually going to end it out and, and just kind of play with these guys for a second and, you know answer any questions that they have. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's up to you to do so. I can't force you. I can't make you go and do it. And it's up to you. It's your choice. I'm not going to make that choice for you. But if you like the, if you like the videos, help support the channel, go become a member. If you're like really supportive, that would just be amazing. Unless I get, you know, hit for kid content and then wouldn't matter in the first place anyway. Memberships would just be completely gone. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <laughs>